and he is not scared. scared. He is not scared of damn off. What you see is not a person who's the cock of the walk. No, you're right. He is not. But he is clearly focused. He is focused, more focused on Dan Moth than any other challenger that has been put in front of Hollywood Inc. Joe Hardway is focused. He doesn't need to be the cock of the walk. He doesn't need to strut around the ring because he's focused. He doesn't need to get inside the head of Dan Moth because he's already in it, Fallon. Referee Big Jose checking the just check the challenge. Check Dan Moff. He's Make sure he's not carrying anything. He's checked the champ. We are just seconds away from the bell, and you can feel the emotion of this night. This is Dan Moff's first match back in Ace Pro Wrestling. Moff has not stepped foot in this building in, in almost five, six years. And we can, referees are trying to get a little separation from the two men. There is the bell, and this one is underway, folks. If, if, if I can still do vernacular. Here we go. Katie, bar the door. This one's going to be a rocket buster. This is going to be a barn burner, to say the least, as Hardway and Moff exchanging forearms, collar and elbow tie-up. Joe has to wrestle, let have Moff wrestle his match. He can't wrestle Moff's match. Joe is the champion. He is going to have to dictate the pace that this match goes. Here we go, you're gonna see a clean break. You're gonna see a clean break. Hey, come on! No, we're not. Hardway ducks the chop. There we go. Straight right hand with the champ. But oh, come. Moff comes right out and doesn't even feel it. All right, time out, time out, time out. We need to regroup, refocus ourselves. Time out, time out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You ever heard of that one? Too much grease? It happens, Fallon. I know you know about Grease. Well, Dan Moff has a bunch of Grease on him right now. Apparently, Hardwick doesn't like the air horn. It's annoying. Let's see. Hold on a second. Wiping that s sweaty oil off his body. Joe can't even get a grip of Dan Moff. How is he going to be able to hit the Hollywood and Vine and moves like that when you can't even grab the man? Moff is the veteran. He's not gonna. He doesn't have to play Hardway's games. He's there not we gonna go. Get Toss him to the floor like yesterday's garbage. That's what we needed to do. Oh come on! Well, obviously that play didn't work because obviously Hardway was gonna write. Oh, oh come on! Hey! Hello, Azrael. There's no need to hit Azrael. Will's hurt. Will's hurt. And Will's still hurt. He's hurt again. This is not gonna work for Joe Hardway. Did they lay a finger on Dan Moff? I think not. I think not. You don't think they would have liked to? You don't Absolute. think they tried to? Hey, listen, Joe Hardway's the man of the hour right now. He's the one that's going to take out Dan Moth. Like I said earlier in the beginning of this contest, we are here simply as backup because we know Ace and NBC and Mike Morgan have a plan up their sleeves, and we're here just to make sure that that plan doesn't come to fruition. So you're telling me that at no time whatsoever in the course of this match, there will be no interference from... Uh, Jorge Luis Rivera. There'll be no interference from William Wyatt. Absolutely not. And Azrael is just gonna. He's a good guy. To, He's a good guy. Know, Why would he interfere? Chance. Give me a break. There's not one person in this building who doesn't believe Hollywood Inc. won't interfere the minute Joe gets his start getting his ass kicked. I believe him. Does that mean anything anymore? I believe him. No. Moff having a few words with the fans, and as he, he said... He doesn't need to worry about Joe Jack and with these filthy individuals. He needs to worry about Joe Hardway and the heavyweight championship. Hardway, uh, I mean, it was the heavy, it was Dan Moff just one month ago who said when he returned here to Ace that he was going to win the title, not for himself, but for the fans to, ha to, to give them a chance that they could be proud of. Colin, I will tie up this Let's time. see if you'll get a clean break out of Mr. NBC here. Ma Let's see if we'll get a clean Hardway. break. Backed into the corner. Oh, come on. Oh, and that would be a no. A cheater. A cheater. Well, there's no DQ. What's the we going to do? Count to five and say you're disqualified? Not one more time. No. Well, Moff, no. And Moff is a man of the people. One more time they ask, one more time they get. Come on, leave the champ alone! Oh, oh God! Double shot right to the back. 
Do you think it's possible that we could have Moth slap and chop the champ so hard his skin turns as red as the American flag? Can you can you stop thinking about negative thoughts like that? We're in a Hollywood mindset right now. You need to be focused on having Joe Hardway walk out still the champion. You need to jump on the bandwagon. Let's go, no, fella. We need all the support we can get right now. Come on. You guys need a small miracle. You guys need your own. No! Uh oh. Joe didn't want to come in, Moff will help him out. How? What if Joe didn't want to get in the ring? What if Joe didn't feel like getting in the ring right this second? Well, obviously Moff wasn't going to allow that to happen, so, uh-oh. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, face wash. It's been quite a number of years since oh. I've seen Dan Moff use a face wash. And that's three. And we usually know what follows that. Oh, no! Moff. Joe! Loading it up. Joe! Hard Can you hear me? Bad predicament. No! Here he comes! Oh, thank God! Thank God! And for a second time, will you? Oh, wait a minute! Going? Oh my God! God! Diving through the ring! That's a 280-pound man! No, that was a 280-pound human missile, and he has wiped out Wyatt, Azrael, and the heavyweight champion. This is a one-on-one -on -one match. And oh. Just sit here, don't get hurt. And you notice the Rose is doing the smart thing. He's like, Where's he taking the chip? I'm gonna. He's introducing him to our fans at ringside. Don't please don't let these filthy people touch Joe. Don't let these filthy people touch Joe. Why is Mom staring at me? This is Hardway. Hardway, these are your fans. They don't like you. Oh, now he's helping him up. How nice. Oh God. Big knife has chop again by the challenger. Joe. Danny Moff with a knife edge chop as these fans scurry for protection of clearly this insane man Dan Moff who has no regard for human life or anyone else's for that matter. Well no, I mean Dan Moff doesn't want to kill Joe Hardway. He doesn't want to end his life. Not today at least. He just wants to put him in a compromising position where he can pummel him so he can no longer. That's a wall! And that's Joe Hardway. Nice to meet you. Hard knife edge chop. And the champ back on his back. Throwing somebody into a wall is not 101 protocol wrestling. But, oh wait, um, hello, where have you been? When was the, did you not remember seeing Dan Moff toss people into the walls in the early parts of his career? Stop it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Oh, please get Joe away from these filthy people. Well, even though the guy's got a Mets jersey on, he's getting a ringside view of the champ getting a beating. Oh, look. What is, he, what is he doing to him? I think it's a loofah sponge. I think he, he's trying to scrub the Hollywood slime off him. Excuse me. I thought this was a heavyweight title wrestling match. I didn't know it would deteriorate into an all-out Pier Sixer. Well, it was... Oh, look. He's got a little shower cap for him. This is not funny, Fallon. This is not funny. Actually, it's a plastic bag. He can suffocate the champion! Do you care? Do you care? Well... No! Clearly you don't, because he didn't answer me! Joe, you gotta, gotta get away from him. You gotta get, keep rolling. Keep rolling on the other side. Get out of the ring, champ! All right, we in one side and out the oh, other. Thank God. Hey, hey, why is he keeping on rolling? You stay in the ring, Moth. No more. We need a timeout. We need a timeout. Let allow me to remind you, this was supposed to be a wrestling match. As there's a boot in the midsection by the challenger. But you guys are the ones who put the no DQ. Shut up, Fallon. You are the ones who said, We're, we would have no problem beating. Ooh, there's a double chop. Dan oh Moth with the no DQ rule. So there's Storm. It's your fault. You've given Dan Moff carte blanche to beat the Caucasian off Joe Hardway. He's got a, this guy has a table. Why don't you try an arm bar or something? Stop this violence. We need just a wrestling match. And I know who's behind this. I know who's behind this.